ballots will go into the mail Monday for the November election. And as part of our commitment to you this campaign season, our political specialist, Sean Boyd, brings you her weekly reality check. And I'm joined again by our wise and wonderful <laughs> analysts, Republican Dick Wadhams, Democrat Mike Dino. Thanks, guys, for being here. Well, since we last talked last week, CBS4 held the first televised debate between gubernatorial candidates Walker Stapleton and Jared Polis. They've now done four debates total. As we mentioned, ballots start going out next week. So, Mike, are the debates moving the needle for either candidate, do you think? I'm not sure, but it's certainly bringing more energy to the campaign. It gives them a chance to tangle with each other. And certainly, I think the debates have have shown that uh, they don't necessarily uh, appreciate each other. And I think it does show that Walker uh, knows that he's a little bit behind and he has to take on the offense uh, to get some traction. You know, it's all about that winning the unaffiliated yes. voter. So have these debates done anything you think to sway those unaffiliated? Probably not yet. Unaffiliated voters like to tune in late in the campaign. They vote late. But I do think these um, debates are an opportunity for Walker to get back into it. There's no doubt that the polis is ahead. And I think so far Walker's done well and, and actually exceeded expectations. But you can tell polis is the front runner because he's, he's kind of calm and he just kind of waves off the attacks. and. We'll see how, where they go the next few weeks. Yeah, they both went at it during our debate, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> so both candidates are attracting national attention. President Trump tweeted he's endorsing Stapleton. Bernie Sanders will stump for Polis at the end of the month. So, Dick, does Trump's endorsement help or hurt Stapleton? Well, it wasn't like we didn't know that Trump was a, a supporter of Stapleton and that Stapleton supported Trump. Uh, that was a theme all through the primary campaign. Right. Uh, I think it is far more uh, interesting that Bernie Sanders is coming to Colorado. <laughs> I don't think Polis needs Bernie Sanders <laughs> to turn out the, the Democratic vote. I really am perplexed by it. It's interesting because um, Polis was a super delicate and he went for Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. not Bernie Sanders. Yet Bernie's coming here for him. Well, and he's going to be on CU and CSU campuses. And you do need to energize the students on right. both those right. campuses. I think Bernie Sanders will do that. And I think that's a pretty wise move. But I do think that Stapleton should have convinced Trump to support Polis because that would have uh, got him a lot further down uh, the, the ballot than he's going to get with Trump behind him. That's good. <laughs> well, and it's not just the governor's race. Former presidential candidate and Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley will be here rallying yeah. Democrats for state Senate and House races. Lots mm -hmm. of money pouring into the state legislative races this year. We've got two TV ads right now on CBS4 for state candidates. Mike, this is really unusual. It is. What's it's very on? rare. Well, I think there's just so much money and there's so little place to put it <laughs> that, uh, you know, it's helping your station. We, you know, people yeah. don't really pay attention much to these yeah. state races. Yeah. And yet I have long said that that's where policy happens. That, those are the races that impact people's lives. Yes. And do you think the these expenditure groups are starting to realize this, too? And that's why, that's why they're putting their money there. Well, we've seen a lot of money for years going into these state legislative races on the, on the independent side, not by the candidates, because they can't raise any money. But, uh, but I think the stakes are so high with the state Senate being in the balance. It's an 1817 mm -hmm. Republican majority. There are four state Senate seats that, are, that will determine the majority uh, in November. And so there is a lot, a lot of stake for both parties. You agree? Yeah. I totally agree. And I'll just say, I think there's five seats in five. play, and, okay. and the Dems have five women running, which yes. makes that an interesting part of the whole mm -hmm. uh, political construct this year. Yeah, I'm going to be watching those races you mostly bet. since I cover the legislature. Well, we are out of time, unfortunately. Dick Wadhams, Mike Dino, thanks for being here. Jim and Karen, back to you. Great coverage to all of you, Sean. Thanks so much.